Hi, for this project update, we are meeting with Scovan Engineering to look at the 3D rendering of our plot plan. Matt, Travis and Chris from the Scovan team are on the call. And from Excelware, it's myself, Jeff, Mike and Heath. Hope you enjoy it and bonus points for looking at the dinosaur over my shoulder. Thanks. Okay. So I think Chris is probably a good point is I need to, why don't you bring up the 3D model and we kind of run through that for you guys and kind of show you what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so Chris, why don't we start as good of a place at the production wellhead and then we can kind of run through almost as if we're going through from the process flow diagram. So, okay, so yeah, so this is the production. So as I said, the right hand side is the produced gas, the left hand side is the emulsion. Uh, both the gas and the emulsion lines combine on this pipe rack. And this is where we flow to the rest of the processing equipment for the facilities. So continuing on with the model, so the emulsion now just basically goes down, down the rack, um, turns 90 degrees. Um, these are the isolation valves that we had left for the, the cooler. So then we flow, keep going, and we go into the test separator. Emulsion comes in, it's a two-phase separator, gas comes off the top of it, liquids come off the bottom of it. So following the gas line off of the top, that is the pink line here, comes down over and basically goes all the way down the length of the rack over to the enclosed combustor. Okay, so that's the gas side of things. And then on the oil side of things, we flow. We have left an isolation valve on the rack here in the event that oil production is fantastic and we need a second tank. We can tie it in off of this second line and run, run a line over to a future tank. But for now that's closed and we go over here and we go into this single thousand barrel tank. Okay, so we come to the little thing box there, that's our transformer. From there we'll go underground with power into the MCC building. And maybe, Chris, can you hide the roof? Yeah. <clears throat> so power kind of goes along the center of this, uh, this building. The first white box there is where the power comes into. Uh, then it gets uh, distributed to the rectifiers, which is the next two or three white boxes. We'll go under the skid and come into the RF unit, which is the green box. The, those cables will come out to the main rack and then head down to the end of the pipe rack. It'll convert at some point to the uh, coax cable and enter the well. It's a, a big cable, it's a three phase cable, it's about 90 meters of that. Um, but it's a good cable, it's CSA approved. I think all you Scovan guys are wonderful. Scovan <laughs> <laughs> is the best. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thanks for that. Yeah. Seriously, though, you, you guys you guys have been a, a pleasure to work with. I, uh, Honestly, it was a couple of years ago. I, I re, we kind of I was in some meetings and they were talking about the purpose of the school van and what our goal is and what we sell. And honestly, the number one thing is client satisfaction. It's we're a sales company, even though we're an engineering firm. Like we sell engineering, so feedback like that is appreciated. 